everyone, TRG here and welcome back to another speed building video and uh, we are back with another one, yes, uh, <laughs> that's why that's why unfortunately there was no uh, there was no videos last week i did upload some uh, shorts but there were no videos last week because uh, i i decided to i mean i felt like doing some building instead of doing let's plays and you know building takes a lot of time especially this i mean this build took about three days you know um and um, as you probably could tell by the um i mean like as you can possibly tell um by the uh um, by the title and the, and the, the thumbnail that uh, this is this is a lovely um, uh, role-playing house now the reason why a uh, family house now now the reason why it's called that is because um, you know in in uh, Roblox Roville, uh, a lot of people like to pretend they're a mother and a father and a child and uh, whatever so I thought hey you know what for my uh, Roblox uh, fans this is actually a really a really nice uh, really nice build uh, because uh, they um, it's not a huge build um, it has got uh, one master bedroom and a bathroom and then it's got um, one children's bedroom as you can see here I I was thinking of doing a double story but then I thought ah, you know what um, I don't really enjoy doing these these particular builds simply because they require a lot of work you know but I thought ah, you know what I will do one for you guys but I'm gonna make it very simple um, small and simple I I I have to say though I I really did enjoy decorating the garden and and like adding some some very nice features there so so I, I really did enjoy that um, yeah um, and of course you know because of this game's mechanics I kept messing up the walls the windows and everything so I had to like, like you know change that over and over again but uh, hey you know what it's part of the it's a uh, part of the game yeah so so I am back with making videos anyway um, the last uh, speed build I did was a modern I mean uh, at the time of this video was a modern uh, um, electronic store normally I like doing businesses because um, you can build a very nice business in this game and I'm actually doing all of the businesses now which is which is a very very nice thing yeah yeah so making the the roof like like as you can possibly see i'm just going for, for quite a modern style as doing a modern house is what i like and it's really the only uh, type of build that i can that i really know how to make yeah oh yes and this house has got a very nice uh, garage it's really like a proper proper family ho home now um, I decided I want a flat roof all over the house like inside um, yeah um, I wouldn't say in terms of colors I did very well you know when it comes to building I'm also very lazy you know I just uh, yeah I, I just did I just did my I just did my best there are, there are a lot of things that I didn't recolor but you guys can also do it if it's, if it's really a bother for you um, yeah yeah, but as you can see, I'm just uh, this is just really the planning phase of of how things or how of how things should look. I as as you guys know, I probably don't know what I'm doing now. Now I thought of building like a big a big pool, but for some reason they kept glitching out, and I thought, ah, you know what? Let's let's just do a small pool anyway, um, which you can. Which you see, I'm putting there. So I'm just outlining it uh, because building a pool in this game is not just straightforward, like in The Sims, where you can place a pool wherever. You actually have to plan and uh, build it into the floor. I guess it's more realistic in this sense, but uh, doing landscape is literally a mess in this game. You have to do it by placing flooring down, and that is, I mean, oh, that is. Uh, I, I really wish they will add like a proper proper terrain and and color and editing thing I mean even this color wheel that they have here where you can select colors and materials and stuff it it is so buggy and and you have to click everything like yeah I would say doing a uh, coloring and stuff is a part of this game that I don't really enjoy doing it's it's just not I mean, uh, it's just not uh, very fluent. You have to keep going out of menus, in and out, and stuff, and trying to decide 
the color you want of your house is takes time because you have to click and click and open up menus and then close and everything so it's not an easy task it uh, definitely is not but you know what eventually i i found a color which i i found a color which i which i like uh, which i think is this i don't know i mean this does look pretty much right yeah yeah uh, maybe i make the texture a little bit darker i don't i don't know there yeah but otherwise everything everything there's fine and then i was and you know i was putting the, the correct uh, roof tiles which definitely was really nice now the one thing i actually battled to get to get a nice brown when i wanted like a wood color um yeah but just made the garage like a concrete uh, color because i think that's normally how garages look i don't know um but yeah so inside the bathroom um i i the, like as you guys possibly know the the theme for this uh for, for this house is a is a modern is a modern style you know and uh yeah, you're gonna see me having to d delete walls and uh, keep on recoloring, recoloring things and uh, and oh, all of that. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, like I like I told you guys, recoloring stuff is really not the part of the game, which which I enjoy. Yeah, but um, yeah, I think I think it looks, I think it definitely, I think it definitely does uh, look. Yeah, you see now here. Um, I should have actually re remembered to do it all separate, but I didn't, and uh, yeah, now now I have to reschedule. I mean, reshuffle things around. But overall, guys, I'm I'm very happy with this build. I'm very happy with everything that I did, and and what's cool is that when while I'm doing this, you can sort of see other players do stuff around. I wish there was a way to disable the thing that they can teleport that they can request to like teleport to you because that is a part that is very annoying um, yeah it's very annoying because um, you uh, have to individually i mean you always have to say say no and then they keep doing it blah, 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 but, but hey you know what it's it it works either way yeah so again fiddling with the garage and the wall and stuff i do actually make the garage slightly um slightly smaller um, yeah I make it slightly smaller uh, so that we can fit a nice TV area in but uh, yeah so there we go there's me again uh, sorting out the bedroom and the and the uh, thingy moving uh, moving walls in and out it, it's not a very easy system to to work with but hey you know what it, it uh, gets the uh, job done which is really nice they, now this color of the wall I I I th I think I changed yeah I changed it to like a light blue I don't know why I chose it but hey it looked okay for the time now I couldn't really decide what to make the main entrance or else so I decided to to go for a plain white just keep it uh keep it uh, simple you know so um now to now I'm just coloring the curtains making it the color I want and then I'm placing it yeah there we go and then I'm just uh, placing it uh, in uh, all the rooms that with that need a curtain yeah there we go you see um and yeah because the one thing i always forget is to place a cur is to place place curtains on the windows and i thought hey why don't i put blinds in the in the windows but blinds are so buggy and, and they don't actually slot on the windows properly so i just thought ah you know what i'm gonna leave it um because i really can't be bothered wasting all that time <laughs> but you know what at the end of the day it made everything look uh, nice and i was actually quite happy with the kids room um uh, not very not very amazing but at the same time it's not it's not bad um yeah i don't have much experience in in uh, doing all of that so so yeah there we go and then i was just uh, i was just uh, making sure that the roof was uh, white i if I did that, I should have done. I, I should have actually maybe put the flooring first before I, because then I could have made e each room match. But then I realized, oh no, I would have to do the roof all again, and I thought, ah, it's not worth it. But at least now I know for at least now I know for next time, yeah, which is the important, Im important part, yeah. Um, 
Yes, so I am. So I'm actually doing uh, quite uh, quite well my, myself. I'm uh, I'm uh, working uh, very hard. We're getting to the we are getting to the end of the year and uh, stuff. Yeah. So in case you're wondering why the uh, the flooring is, um, I mean the grass outside is orange. Well, it's because at the time of this video. Um, it is Halloween outside, so that's why it is uh, grass, and that's the, I mean, orange uh, grass. I, I honestly would prefer if they just keep it to green, but yeah, I understand they want to follow the festival of Halloween and stuff, so that's that's fine, you know. Um, but uh, I made it green so that sort of in like any season you can just have green grass, which is amazing now, so... So anyway, at the entrance here, I put a bin. I'm putting like some nice seating area. Yeah. Now the one thing I really liked how this turned out was this. Uh, as I said, the, the the exterior is really my favorite part. You know, um, is is this uh, is the um, pathway over here. I I think it really turned out. I put a lot of I I put a, a lot of bushes and shrubs around to to make it uh, really stand out to to something that is that is awesome yeah you know and I'm, I'm really i'm really happy about this and as you can see here i'm gonna be placing placing these these guys around around here and uh yeah so guys in this video i really tried to keep the camera as uh, still as i can but um you know it it, it really was not easy uh, trying to do this you know just to keep everything together and uh yeah but hey you know what i think it's a great video that i that i turned out you know and 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 i think i really did a good job yeah yeah so the part which i which i'm uh, cutting out here is because uh, i thought ach, originally i'll just leave the grass as it is but i wasn't happy with having orange grass on this build so i put uh, green all all the way around you know but then i decided ach, you know what i'm going to just do the whole thing which i cut out because as you can see in order to put the color of the grass you want around you have to put flooring down and that is a very uh, complex and annoying thing i think i did a tutorial on on how to do it but it just it just wasn't uh, it's just not a nice thing to to have to focus on so um i i just cut that out on the, on the video which you'll which you will see but hey you know what uh, i mean already i mean wow this build i have to say it it is looking it is looking very good yeah you know um and and definitely something definitely something yeah so so just placing a, a few uh, a few trees around yeah um yeah so uh, as you can see here now i thought okay let's do it and it's done look at that now you know what i mean yeah but anyway, let's leave that alone. So now inside the pool, obviously I'm placing all the walls around. Um, and then I and then I thought, uh, you know what, this pool, I want to give a bit of detail. So I'm adding a second. Uh, so it has that, so it's got a shallow end and a deep end. And this one, because I mean, realistic in the shallow end of the pool, you can actually stand. So I actually managed to get the height completely right that, uh, that your character will uh, stand when he enters the pool. And then, as it goes down, he will start to swim. So that that was actually quite a quite a nice feature, which I that was actually quite a nice feature, which I did, I think. And uh, yeah, it came out really nicely. It's got like a nice uh, nice color flooring, and um, yeah, yeah. And as you can as you can see i definitely did uh, did that uh, really well um so so if you're wondering if you weren't able to like catch on 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 how i did this pool um i i, I have a, a series on my youtube channel where i where i do uh, um, all the like roblox uh, rovilla tutorials on how to do um certain things in the game which i thought hey you know what uh, um that's really really good so you can so I teach you how to make a pool how to make a, a, a deep end it even teaches you how to sink a uh, jacuzzi into the ground linking it to the pool to make it connected uh, which is 
something really cool which i did uh, uh, which i did i wanted to include that in this build but i thought like you know what i already placed the grass i forgot about it let's let's not make thing now a very important feature that this building has is it's got automatic doors so the minute you walk up to the door it uh, opens automatically which is something i think all builds should have because unlike um blocksburg um where you have to actually pay robux to, to get the this this feature in roville thank thank goodness it's free so i decided i'm gonna place it in in all of this thing because that's definitely a feature you have to have because it's so annoying up to manually open doors you know so um the the cool thing is that the doors now open automatically yeah but anyway now we are into into furnishing this part took uh, i think about an hour or something just to furnish this whole place so i did speed it up quite a bit so i'm sorry if it's a, if it's a bit too fast but i tried not to move the camera as much as i could yeah so the kitchen just going for like a modern thing i didn't put any cabinets on top i should have but you know what i thought hey um it's fine and i'm just placing placing some other stuff you know putting the dishwasher into the into the into the counter because that does look cool you know and uh, yeah and then just placing stuff we the one unique thing is that we have a pizza maker a uh, wooden wooden i um, mean a, a proper i forget what it's called as you can see there putting a large extractor fan and uh, a a uh, kettle and and some cooking stuff you know it, and uh, some bar stools uh, we don't have a dining table i couldn't fit one in you know but there is a uh, you'll see later i'm gonna put a a uh, gazebo there where you can sit under cover and you can also there's a there's a there's a nice table outside for you to eat but you can also sit at the counters here it's just one of those things if you guys want to put an actual dining table i'm sure you guys can can find a way to fit it in yeah and uh, yeah so just just uh, trying to make so I thought I you know what this kitchen needs a lovely backdrop so I put that in as I'm thinking now I could have actually put the counters in but I didn't want to so I think this is I think this is fine you know and I thought hey you know what we have to have a pool table so I put that outside over there yeah I must say I didn't do a very good job with the lighting in this house but you know what it's it's not bad it does the it does the the job you know it's got a nice fireplace uh, there you know and this is where i'm now extending the thing i had to remove that whole wall over there because uh, you see you see what i mean how buggy it is it just doesn't work properly there we go but you know what um, because the garage didn't need to be that big and i wanted to have a bit of space to put a nice lounge area with a with a with a giant tv which you'll see as now i'm just fixing up the fixing up the painting and luckily that didn't really damage the whole the whole entire thing yeah um yeah so now i'm just placing a lovely couch everywhere um uh, with with some nice pillows and a large tv um it's got two massive speakers and uh, yeah placing it and then it's got two coffee tables we probably didn't need two but i thought hey you know what let's let's make it look nice there we go um yeah so the, the idea really about this build is keeping it simple keeping uh, keeping it basic not adding too many fancy things you know because i also realized that the fancier the build is the more laggy it is for the player yeah so i thought uh, you know what Let, let's just keep it keep it nice you know um yeah and i'm actually very happy with this guys i mean it looks good you know um yeah placing some paintings um, obviously there are people out there that do add a lot more detail and they go crazy into things but you know what if it if it probably was a different type of build i probably would have done this but building family homes and role playing stuff is something i'm just really doing for 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 you guys my roblox player fla fans you know um yeah so here i thought uh, why not i just recolor the bed because i didn't like that color anyway and i wanted the most expensive bed so i thought uh, you know what so i'm going for like a light blue uh, thing which i thought hey was really good and there of course another bug i really wish they would fix that 
um, but you know what it works so um, and I and you know this color really lights up the whole room so yeah yes yeah, so now I'm just uh, deciding what what uh, wardrobe should I go for I put a nice safe so you could keep some lovely money inside there and uh, yeah let's that's that's really awesome and then i'm painting i mean i'm placing a nice desk uh, giving it the right color that i want and then yeah and i wanted to change the color of the that uh, chair but i thought ah you know what the blue um, matches the house yeah and we've got a nice tv so you can lie in bed and watch some tv it's got a lovely laptop gaming laptop um everything yeah and the printer so you can you can do all of your all of your work yeah and uh, two two nice uh, bedside tables i do put an, an alarm clock there two on either side so yeah can definitely get your role playing on yeah okay now going into the bathroom uh in the bathroom i i, I wasn't sure which side was the door but it seems pretty good so i just uh, tested it tested it out with my with my characters but this brings me to tell you guys that if you are this far into the build i want to say a huge thank you for sticking on and i and i hope you're still enjoying it yeah but what i would like to tell you now is that i uh, have got um, i have got merchandise uh, 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 available for your roblox character um I, I think they range from five robux five robux all the way to about uh, 100 robux and and you can get uh, t-shirts um, um yeah basically only, only t-shirts but different uh, different styles and uh, they've got different things and all of that yeah so um, um you can find that on on my website the the link is in the description um and on my website uh, you will you will find a place where it will take you directly to where each uh, each uh, robux uh, i mean uh, where each uh, product is and when you click on it it will take you to the roblox site where you can buy everything yeah so there we go the, the outside I put a nice chimney on top i sh looking now i should have recorded it but i didn't but whatever you know um pl place a nice bright area over there and uh, um, yeah and added a few things uh, uh, a sand pit and a swing for the kids and you know placing the kids uh, uh, now I'm just doing the kids uh, bathroom yeah but on my website you can also um, um, download you know real merch like t-shirts cups uh, everything um, I mean not download you can buy them um, they're at an affordable price for everyone that's not in South Africa <laughs> but if you're in America they're, they're good they're good prices for you guys um yeah the link for that is also in the description but more importantly all of the house codes are in the description of these and my other videos um you can you can buy them i think this one is going for a hundred and forty five thousand dollars i think i think that's the price yeah um i'm i'm busy working on a thing for my website it's not there yet but i'm busy working on a on a thing for my website where all of the where all of the prices are going to be are going to be uh, there with the with the codes um yeah so so that is something that i'm busy working on um um, to so so you guys can get the codes directly on my website for each build, which is uh, definitely an, a thing to a thing to do. I mean, I mean, my website is definitely I've definitely been working on it in my spare time when I I mean I suppose website building is something that I enjoy now that Fourth Wall is allowing me to host it for for free. Which is cool. I mean, if you guys uh, want to, uh, if you're a content creator like myself, you can, you can uh, have, have a look at Fault Wall. I mean, Fault Wall is amazing. The features that they have are really good. Yeah. So, in, so anyway, back to the build. I've been talking so much crap about everything. Sorry, guys. But um, back to the build in the garage. I put like a lawnmower. All of this stuff. You know, I could have put like some storage shelves, but 
you know what also i have to bear in mind that the more stuff i add makes the build more expensive and i also want to make it affordable for you guys um yeah so so yeah anyways I'm, i mean i wouldn't i don't know if this building is particularly affordable but yeah um yeah so here i was trying to place trees around but i think my computer was tired so it uh it didn't uh, allow me to place anything anymore uh, i mean it did allow me but it was just so so laggy so that's when i took a break and i continued on it in uh, the in the next day yeah yeah so as you can see i'm i'm now back and i'm just uh yeah, now the game is actually allowing me to play properly um I'm just playing, I mean, I'm just placing some more decorations. Like I said, the, doing the garden of this build was, was, was my favorite, uh, was my favorite thing. I, I really, I really did enjoy, in, enjoy that. I'm placing some lovely palm trees and, uh, and everything around. Um, yeah, so, so that's. That's definitely something. Oh yeah, and then over here, I decided I'm going to place. I want to place a border of rocks because now this isn't like The Sims where you have to worry about your character not being able to go over them or past them. You literally control your character, so you can do that. So I decided, hey, I'm going to put something that I want to do. I want to make. I want to put a border of rocks around the around this area because I think that looks that looks nice. Yeah, and uh, I. I super speeded that part because it's just placing rocks. It would look pretty boring for that part going very slowly. And I thought, hey, you know what? That's really nice. Yeah. So over here, I'm just placing some trees and I'm looking for everything. But I would like to say thank you guys very much for watching. Um, please hit that like button. Subscribe for more content. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be posting more. Like I said, the house codes are in the description of this video. So thank you guys very, very much for watching. And uh, take care. What's your superpower? Can you turn the world around? Can you love a flower? Oh, yeah, the color in the sound. Will you fly over the mountains and feel the air beneath your wings? Can you? In the call that the bluebird sings Can you throw away the fear? Can you make it disappear? Can you listen very clear? Can you hear a single tear? Can you lie in a circle and sing a happy Super Bell
you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Rumble Court channel, where you'll find captivating marimba and gaming content. With daily uploads, there's always something new to enjoy. If you found this video entertaining, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for future uploads. Don't forget to click the bell icon for notifications. I highly encourage you to leave a comment below. Let's chat about the video or any topic you'd like. Your thoughts and feedback are valuable to me. If you'd like to support my channel, you can donate through the link in the description. Your contributions help me create more quality content. You can also explore house codes for my meticulously designed properties in the popular Roblox game, Rover. Furthermore, my music is available on streaming platforms like Apple Music, iTunes, and Spotify. Feel free to check it out and add it to your playlists. For more information, you can visit my website. The link is provided in the description below. Once again, I sincerely appreciate your support. I'm excited to see you in the next video. Take care and have a lovely day.